Oh, I stopped it. Okay, let me go closer in. I didn't mean to go stop that video, but that's okay. Now I'm trying to follow this line, but it's like it's kind of got off a little bit. Yeah. Now I got to make sure I know where the see things under here could be doing stuff. So I got to see what's going on under there. Yeah, see this. Did I sew into it? No. Okay, we're good. I'm actually going over the needles because I just didn't want to take them out right now. So now I'm here. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go back and tighten this up because it's a corner. So I'm going to take this pin out. And I should have left the needle down like that. You're supposed to leave it when you're adjusting things. So now I'm going to take these pins out because we don't need them. And they're in the way. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this as tight as I can. There. So I'm going to back stitch. Now I'm going to change my thread stitch to two and let me go down to 1.5. So this is going to be a really close stitch and the reason why I'm doing this is because we're in a corner. And when you're in a corner, the stronger the stitch, when I go to poke it with my, uh, with my chopstick and it's a corner, it'll, it'll be stronger. So that's why I'm doing it. There. That's it, right there. Now I'm going to drop it there, like that. And then I'm going to try to pull all this stuff through here. And then I'm going to bring this up. See, and it's stuck in there. See, now I'm turning direction. So now the direction will be going down this way. And so there's the fabric. Now I got to make sure. See, most people would pin this, but I'm not pinning it because, because I know where the fabric is. And I'm going to try to follow it. So now I'm going to let this down. And then I'm going to sew down this way. We make sure that fabric, yeah, it's on the fabric. Okay. All right, so this is actually the corner, and it's going at 1.5. So it's a very tight corner. Now I can move it back to 3.5. Or, yeah. There. Now we just kind of help the fabric through here as we go. In fact, I can take it all, put it all over here. There. And leave it like this, as long as, yeah. And then I gotta watch this fabric again, like that. So I'm making sure that it's catching the fabric. And I'm trying to do 3 eighths of an inch here. So that's 3 eighths is under a half inch, because 4 eighths is a half inch. So. Just to let you know what 3 eighths is. You should don't know. There's a little bit of math in sewing. Not a lot. I gotta learn how to uh, do it to the metric. So I'm, uh, I gotta start thinking in metric. Because I'm getting a, an embroidery machine next week. It's a, a brother. PE 770. See, see how the fabric's moving, so I gotta get it straight. So I'm gonna keep going down like this. See, I'm moving the fabric here, keeping it together. Normally, people would pin that. Oh, okay. 
Okay, now back stitch. And now we're done with this machine for a minute. We're going to go to the other machine. Now, the thing that I, uh, if you were just using a sewing machine, you'd be done with that part. But because I'm using, let's see there. All right, let me back up without shutting the camera off this time. There. So because I'm using, uh, see, because I'm using a regular sewing machine uh, right now, but I have a serger, I'm going to use the serger to clean this up a little bit. But normally people would just sew with this and then they would flip this. See, and when they flip it, see, this is that little corner. Then it becomes the lapel. But we're not going to flip it yet because I'm going to go over to the serger and clean this up. So let me move over to the serger. Okay. So we're moving over there. Hmm. Let's see where is a good angle for this. My hands won't be in the way. Okay. Okay. All right, so now I'm moving the camera. I think right here might work. Put some more light over here. There. Okay. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. So here. Now, what I have to be careful of is, when I look at this, it looks like it caught the fabric all the way. Very good. So now what I'm going to try to do is surge right on this line. So I'll put this in here. And this will cut off the excess. So I think that the line on the serger, this is a newer serger for me. But let me see where the, the cutter is right here. So this line right here represents the cutter, this, this line right here. So what's happening is it's going like this and cutting as I sew. So I'm going to push this in here like that and that's the perfect spot right there. And here we go. You see and see there's two needles right here and the two needles that are there are for these two threads. And then these two threads are, are, are overlocks. They're going like this over it. See? See what it looks like? Right there you can see the two, th these are the two threads. Well, maybe I'll get closer in a second. I'll show you in a second. But I'll, I'll go ahead and finish this. extra stuff. You can cut it off and then you can use fray check and you put fray check on it and it fray check is this stuff and uh, what it does is it makes it so that the, the the threads won't pull. It's like a glue kind of a thing. Okay so now we can turn this inside out. So we're gonna go over to the iron. Let's see is it plugged in? Yes it is. So now we go to the iron. And let me bring the camera over. Back to the iron. My camera's coming apart again. Oh man, this thing's gonna break one of these things. I got it. You know, and I've got a better one of these. I don't know why I'm using this one. I just, uh, 
Anyway, we'll be fine. Looks like I got it all under control. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. There, that ain't gonna move. Still going. Good. Let's see, am I recording? I don't know what it's doing now. Looks like it's still recording, but I don't know why it's... It's like stuck. My battery's going dead. Oh boy. I'm going to have to restart.